Here is your question. Right, so if you have read and understood, considering this surgical pathology patient, what are the differential diagnoses that you consider um, for this patient? My differential diagnosis would be a malignant melanoma. Yes. Uh, it can also be um, uh, squamous cell carcinoma yes. or basal cell carcinoma. Very good. And if it is infectious, I would also like to rule out any infectious causes. Uh, it can be uh, uh, um, cellulitis or necrotizing patient okay can you please tell me uh, what is melanoma how would you like to define it melanoma is a uh, uh, um, uh, uh, neoplasm of the melanocytes ma mainly arising in the skin okay all right can you tell me how would you differentiate malignant melanoma from squamous cell carcinoma uh, usually, the squamous cell carcinoma tends to arise around uh, the uh, orifices, natural orifices, where the junction of skin and mucosa is present. Yes. Whereas melanoma can occur in any part of the body, uh, also more commonly in the sun-exposed areas. Yes. Uh, squamous cell carcinoma is uh, it has better prognosis as compared to malignant melanoma. Okay. Um, and uh, metastasis is more common in melanoma as compared to uh, squamous cell carcinoma. What is the mode of spread of a malignant melanoma? It can be uh, either lymphatic or hematogenous, ma whereas uh, in squamous cell carcinoma, it's more commonly uh, lymphatic. Can you tell me about the incidence of occurrence of malignant melanoma as compared to squamous cell carcinoma? Um, uh, this I'm not sure about my mind. Like, Four percent malignant that. melanoma and sixteen percent squamous cell carcinoma. Can you please tell me okay, how would you confirm your diagnosis? Uh, I would like to do an excision biopsy with yes. the two mm margin. Yes. And then, depending on the result of the excision biopsy, plan my further treatment. Okay. Yes. Uh, how? All right. Uh, can you tell me about breast low thickness? What do you understand uh, by it? Breast loss thickness is used as a prognostic marker in malignant melanoma. Yes. And it is nothing but uh, they take the thickness from the stratum granulosum to the deepest layer of the involvement of mel melanoma uh, cells. So depending on that thickness, you can reevaluate the margin uh, that is needed, the safety margin. Okay. For can you tell me, considering it's malignant melanoma, what are the what are the poor prognostic factors that you poor, keep in your mind? Uh, poor prognostic factor. The first one will be breast loss thickness. Then you have the depth of inflammation measured by Clark's level, uh, ulceration and lymphovas uh, lymphovascular invasion, the size and also old age and male, male sex gender. is considered. Yes. Okay, can process. you tell me what are the six uh, skin conditions which are associated with melanoma? Can you uh, name two? Uh, xeroderma pigmentosa. Yes. Albinism. Yes. Um, and then uh, congenital pigmented nevi. Yes. Um, and dysplastic nevus and multiple nevi. Okay, what are the other risk factors of malignant melanoma, if you can mention too? Uh, uh, immunocompromised patients, ma'am. Yes. Uh, okay. uh, red Past. hair, sun, yes. uh, sun exposure, and uh, Hutchinson's melanotic freckles. Yes, and past history of melanoma. Okay. Yes. Can you tell me 
Right. What are uh, once you have to consider malignant melanoma, which has been metastasized, metastasized. What are the differential diagnoses you will consider then? Uh, uh, it can be uh, lymphoma. Yes. Okay. And uh, it can also be uh, basal cell carcinoma. All right. Syphilis. Yes. Okay. Okay, yeah, what are the types of malignant melanoma depending upon the location if you are off? Uh, there are five common types. Yes, now. please tell uh, me. You have uh, acral lentiginous, yes. superficial spreading, yes. uh, nodular type, amelanotic, and um, desmoplastic. Type. Can you please tell yes, me about the desmoplastic type of malignant melanoma? Uh, it is one of the rare types of yes. malignant melanoma. Yes. Uh, and it does not have any pigmentation. Okay. Can you tell me what you understand by the epithelioid melanoma? Uh, uh, histologically, there are two melanomas can be either epithelioid or the spindle cell type. And epithelioid cells are more commonly seen in... Uh, superficial spreading type and nodular type of malignant melanoma. If patient they has big epi, cells with, yeah. if patient with has abundant... Epi, Sorry, epithelioid, if patient has epithelioid type of uh, malignant melanoma, so where would you examine the patient? What are the like sites? To ask this question, ma'am. Okay. I'm How would sure. you determine the primary site? All right. Okay, is it, uh, is it possible to take a sample or save a sample while you're operating or excising the lesion? Yes, ma'am, you can take a uh, uh, frozen session. Uh, Very you good. You can do frozen session and then evaluate the margins and then take a call if it requires uh, a wider excision. Okay. Can you please tell me what should be the treatment or management that you can offer to the patient? Uh, first, I would like to know if uh, if it is metastasized. So I yes. would like, uh, since patient is already having uh, symptoms of metastasis, I yes. would like to get a whole body CT yes. and uh, PET scan done. And yes. depending on the, that, I would like to go ahead with palliative chemo radiation and um, uh, take a call. Uh, depending on his response, I would like to also control his primary site with uh, uh, amputation. Very good. Okay, just suppose you've uh, excised the lesion and after two, three, four days, patient presents to your uh, outdoor again and the wound is red and swollen. You take the culture and you send the culture which comes back and it will uh, diplo poci infection. So how would you interfere? What kind of organism to expect to be found there? Uh, it can either be gram negative or gram positive. No? Most common would be strep, strep or staph uh, infection. Uh, so depending on the culture, I would like to start off with antibiotics. Okay. Can you tell me if it is uh, found to be a necrotizing fasciitis? How would you manage the patient then? If it is necrotizing fasciitis, I would immediately take the patient for uh, debridement. No? And? Uh, uh, that's all I can think about. Man. Okay. Debridement and IV antibiotics. Okay. Uh, since patient has malignant melanoma, which is metastasizing as well, patient is susceptible to another condition. What measures? Uh, first of all, can you tell me what is that condition that you keep in your mind? And what measures, measures would you advise to the patient to prevent that happening? Uh, the thing that I would like to keep in my mind is uh, sepsis because uh, the patient might already be undergoing chemo radiation, so he'll be immunocompromised. Okay. So uh, I would advise the patient to come in immediately if he uh, starts developing fever, sees that the site, operative site has uh, erythema or pus forming from there. And uh, once he is uh, in the clinic for the same symptoms, I would start them. I would take a culture sensitivity and then start them on antibiotics. Okay. Other than sepsis, because you're not like considering there's no acute infection going on right now, but since it's malignant melanoma and it's metastasizing, so what is the most common complication which comes in your mind can occur? 
patient uh, is in hyper yes hypercoagulable state so you what measures would you take to prevent oh, that i would from? like to give uh, prophylactic uh, anticoagulants ma'am usually yes. warfarin uh, 1 to 10 mg depending on the weight for about 6 months yes okay to prevent dvt from happening yes, very good okay good very good can you please describe the lesion bell is gone but we were slow sorry uh, uh this is a black pigmented lesion which yes. has uh, uh, some ulceration at the yes. top of the lesion yes and also crusting and yes. irregular borders yes and there is asymmetry very and the good. diameter might be bigger than 6.6 mm yes very good Uh, and it's bigger among the ones you can see because there is also another small one. Yes, yes very good, very good, very good. Started your timer and.